Well, speaking of the Longhorns, it's on. First day of practice now in the books for the University of Texas. Bright and early this morning, the veterans took the field. The freshmen in the evening by themselves for a couple of days. Mac Brown heading into his 13th season. Will Muschamp, third year as defensive coordinator. Second year as head coach in waiting. Of course, the biggest storyline, Garrett Gilbert replacing the winningest quarterback in college football. Greg Timmons with a nice grab right there this morning. Longhorns in shorts today. They'll not put on the full pads until late in the week. Of course, they've got some fine DBs. That's A.J. White. He's a true freshman, but he came in at the semester. That's why he was working out with the veterans. Gilbert's top receiver coming back is Round Rock High's James Kirkendall, a senior. Of course, Dwayne Aquina loaded in that secondary. Three Jim Thorpe Award candidates including Curtis Brown, along with Blake Gideon and Aaron Williams. But right there, Greg Timmons does get the best on that play. But this time you will see what the Longhorns hope they see a lot of. Brown getting that hand in there. Will Muschamp doesn't take much to wind him up and let him go. Of course, a big storyline. Backup quarterback Connor Wood or Case McCoy, true freshman. They'd love to see Malcolm Williams emerge as a go-to receiver. Now the Longhorns, a lot of question marks. Can they, in fact, get that running game going the way they'd like to? Defensive front's a question. Offensive line's a question. Pick second in the Big 12 South, but fourth in the first coaches poll. In other words, expectations always just about the same for Texas through the roof. I do feel like we have a chance this year. With all the question marks we have, we still have a chance to win all the games if we will do a great job coaching. And, and you, the chemistry and the, the morale of the team and the, the discipline, I'm, I'm really proud that our kids have acted good this summer and they've stayed out of trouble. And, and, and this team so far seems to be doing all the things that we've asked them to do. So uh, all those things matter. We will uh, have to look at practicing differently because we've got a lot of inexperienced guys. So we, we may do more live scrimmaging than we have in the past. You've still got to watch it because a young guy can get real tired and he can get hurt more easily than an older one that, that knows how to practice and knows the deal. But we'll have to look at all that. It's a lot different just be, having that experience, being on the team for a year, you know, being out there and going through summer, going through spring workouts, stuff like that. Just it, uh, you know, it, it, it just withstanding the test of time and being able to grow and mature through being on the team for so long definitely helps. I just wanted to get to, we need to get the same relationship that, you know, like, you know, um, that I had before with Colt, you know, just get get some trust out of him and, you know, then let him know that whenever there's a play to be made that he can count on me and the same for the rest of our receivers. We want to work hard. We want to be intense, uh, never take a playoff and just, and just try and get better every single day.